Most people in life go through life understanding the rules of life. He who makes the rules is, well, God, right? And most of our United States Constitution and the treaties that we put out in the world are usually based somewhat around those concepts. The Bill of Rights also extends the amendments, if you will, of that Constitution and the things that we needed to add to the original Founding Fathers' ideology that were based on a long time ago. Today, of course, society is ever-changing every day with the advancements in medical science and technology, as well as manufacturing and food production. You see, we have to get back to basics in America, and back to basics in America is what is our most valued resources in terms of employing people across the nation and keeping them employed. What is it that they're buying and what is it that they are currently using is sort of important because those environments need employees to produce them. Or are we getting everything from overseas? And what are we exporting? Whatever we're exporting are the schools and programs we need to have in high schools and colleges to prepare students regardless of whether or not they have the financial wherewithal to go on to college or not. A free public education for college is great, but what will that student gain? Will that student gain direct access to a job that is actually available and continuing in an industry to grow, or will they be gaining access to actual educators and trainers that are so out of that sector that they don't really know what is what and who is who? Because we all know textbooks in the printed form take a good four to five years to publish, which means that society, technology, and everything has almost already changed. But here's the challenge. If we use the internet to educate people, we might not get what is true. If we use uh, colleagues to educate people, we might get a skewed view. And openly what I'm talking about in the world today is not anything that people in common sense can't understand. That in order for America to thrive, we must have certain things protected in our land. We must protect our borders from foreigners that would like to kill us and take our birth certificate. We must have a land-locked situation of our military literally all along the borders of our community. But we also have to be careful of this. We cannot have a police force that is trying to abuse us out of our rights because they like our townhouse or they like our beach house or they like our land in the farm. You see, when we have police that are out of control, America is at risk. But when we have police that follow the rules of America, the treaties of our world, then we have a lot better American citizens. 